Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, to new subscribers, welcome, welcome. To old subscribers, again, welcome back. Today we are doing something I'm a little bit excited to do. We are doing a product review. Okay, so I don't know if anybody has been getting spam the same way that I have by this company called Tropic Feel advertising this like a uh, waterproof sneaker and just like making a really attractive offer for travelers sustainable travelers green travelers so i was like okay i have to try out these products because maybe they're actually really really good so i finally received the best award-winning christmas present ever you know what i don't celebrate christmas but i got a christmas present and it's a tropic feel uh pro explore pack so for the holiday season, they were offering these Explorer packs. They had like a, a big, beginner Explorer, Pro Explorer, Pro, Pro Explorer Plus, I don't know. They had a bunch of different packs that they were offering. So I got the one with kind of every everything in it. Um, I, I hope there was something that I wanted in another pack that wasn't in the other pack. So I just got the, the one with more things, just in case. So guess what? I've got them. I'm gonna give you an unpacking review of what everything looks like, how everything's packaged, and then later on in the video, I'm gonna give you a product review once I've tried the products and can actually say, are these shoes waterproof? Is this actually feel good? Does it look good? Does it live up to the name? And the Tropic Feel branding. So keep watching and you will see shortly. All right. The box. Looks like a box. <laughs> Sounds like a box. Uh, it's a bit massive, so I'm gonna kind of stick it on my lap. So I'm packaging it already. I think the box looked differently in the ad, so I'm not too mad about it, but I'm just like, what are we getting into? So at least on the inside, there's like a cute message. It says, adventure awaits. Take them wherever your life takes you. This is what it looks like on the inside. A chaotic mess of things. So let's see everything that's in here. We're gonna break it down now. Yeah, this cute little bag. I think this is their sign. Looks like a little mountain with a sunrise or something. Um, loving the canvas bag. A fan. I'm a huge fan of canvas bags. Let's see. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We have this mask. It says beyond travel. It's got like this hidden thing inside. I guess if you have like one of those reusable filters that you can stick inside of your mask, that will work. I don't have them, but um, it looks cool. It feels cool. It feels like a t-shirt. Yeah, it feels like my t-shirt. I don't know how exactly uh, medically safe it is, but it looks good. It feels good. Uh, it's made in India. The company is from Spain, but that doesn't mean that it's bad. Maybe they're hopefully paying their workers. We're gonna look that up after. Okay. So far it looks good. Um, and it's got these like adjustable straps on the side, which are cool. I think they were putting in all of the packs masks and sanitizers just to like promote safe traveling um during the pandemic which is important especially for countries that um i mean for your safety of course but some countries are actually requiring that you wear the mask and have sanitizer on you so super helpful okay so this is the hand sanitizer looks like this looks really pretty but uh aha if you are in Europe, you can definitely buy the refills for it um, and you can also recycle them. I don't know if they have the process of like, you send it to them and then they refill them or they recycle them at the, at the um, factories, but if they do, that's cool. They should do that if they are not doing it. Send them back and refill them or reuse the plastic. I don't know. But yeah, so that's the hand sanitizer here. So, so far we've got the mask and the sanitizer. So 100% biodegradable in composting to be disposed in a commercial composting facility as per local regulations. So I guess that's okay. If it's composting, that's cool. I mean, if it's 
It's better than what I thought it was. I thought it was like 100% plastic. And I was like, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? But it's compostable, so that's a surprise, a shock. Here we go. So this is a, a, a hemp shirt. Stand up. Looks light, fresh. And there's nothing on the back, so. But yeah, so if you're looking for hemp shirts, that you can track where they were made for a more sustainable impact. I guess if you want to try it, you can try it. I haven't worn it, but it looks good. And there's like a little tag. Here we have the Tropic Feel Cruiser Backpack. Bam! Tag. Let's see, I'm always bad at doing these things where they like fold into themselves. I always break them eventually because I'm like, I don't know how to do this. Okay, so it's like a roll, a roll top, one of those roll top bags. Those are always cool and funky. So just give it a roll. Can I clip? Look. The straps are on. But yeah, it's pretty lightweight. I can see myself going on a day trip with this. And if it's for laptops, I guess maybe a lighter laptop, not like a huge one. Aluminium water bottle in a cardboard box. Oh, that wrapped in plastic. Okay. Yeah. Pretty simple, pretty standard. Black tropic feel branding on the side. I think even if it costed them a little bit more to make it like more like insulated or something that could have been cooler um, as well. I mean if you're catering to like travelers, especially for like the Explore Pro Pack, I mean, that would be pretty good to have like an insulated bottle or something. Like, I don't know, my opinion. Last but not least, the famous Tropic Feel shoes. So this is the breeze bag, it opens up, you can also clip it. I guess you could also use it for like putting your swimming costume and your towel inside of the bag as well when you're traveling. So this is what the breeze bag looks like. For that breeze so this is the shoe so i got the canyon core blacks and the tread looks like this tropic feel on the bottom pretty good grips they said it should be an alternative for hiking shoes i can already see by looking at them that i definitely won't be using them for <laughs> hiking at all but uh i mean for like a, a short day hike yeah why not and then together they look like this so there were lots of different color offerings, but I got black obviously because I wear black all the time. So it would work better for me to get a color that I like to wear. So yeah, that is everything inside of the box. Basically, I won't give you the product review right now. I haven't used it. It would be uh, unfair to do that and say that the products are great. They look great. Uh, packaging, I would say, um, you know, even if it is compostable, recyclable, etc., I think they could have done a lot more with the fabric as they did with the mask. Like maybe putting things like the bottle, I mean, I don't think it was necessary for this, but maybe packaging wise so it doesn't scratch up in the transportation. Um, putting it in the, you know, the canvas bag would have looked better, I think, to me. A lot of the things that were in plastic for me didn't necessarily need to be in plastic, but like I said, maybe it's a transportation issue for when you're getting your products, make sure they get to you in the you know, condition that they want you to have it in. So for that, I will say, yeah, good idea. But um, yeah, I would definitely have uh, used maybe more of the compostable plastic versus like the, the like hardcore plastic that this came in. Um, yeah, and I mean, so far everything looks good and I'm pretty excited to use it. So hopefully um, I will have a review video for you and for my next trips when I'm using them, I will let you know I am wearing the Tropic Feel products so you can see how it looks when I'm traveling and I can let you know how the things are working while I'm traveling. Shoes, they look good, I'm happy with it. I hope they work up to the standard. I hope they're waterproof. I mean, I'm not gonna wear them expecting them to be waterproof. I'll wear them in my day to day and see how comfortable they are. And maybe if I'm going out on the beach or maybe if I'm going scuba diving, I might wear them on the deck and see how it goes. 
stay tuned for the product review videos yeah i'll litter it in with my other videos and i might do a product review specifically on the shoes and on the backpack because those are like the important products that they were advertising the hand sanitizer and the mask and stuff i don't think that's really what they're concentrating on so i won't review it too much or take it too much to heart thanks again guys for watching my channel hope you liked what you saw if you have any other ideas of other videos that you'd like me to showcase focusing on zero waste vegan and plant-based eating or travel Please let me know in the comments below what you think as well. Don't forget to subscribe and share and like my video. And I will see you for the next one. All right, guys. Bye.